us by your spirit to daily reorient, reorient our hearts and faith toward the light, toward the love, toward the life, toward the Christ. By our repentance, may we daily turn away from whatever keeps us from a closer walk with you. And fill our days with the caring deeds which are the fruits of our repentance. In Jesus' name, amen. Merciful God, who sent your messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance. These are the opening words of the collect for this second Sunday of Advent. Coupled with the call of John the Baptist in the gospel reading just heard, repent, repent for the kingdom of heaven has come near. We know for sure that repentance is a dominant theme of this Advent season. But fair to say, I believe, that when many of us hear the word repent, our faces become downcast with feelings of guilt that we aren't measuring up to what God expects of us or not doing enough of what faith requires of, of us. Or perhaps we think repentance means saying we're sorry for some sin, or better yet, confessing that we're really, really sorry and will never do it, whatever it is, again. And yes, all this is part, is part of repentance. But repentance goes so much further and is so much more. The heart of the word repentance means turning around, taking another direction doing an about face, choosing another course. And, and these actions, by their very nature, call into question the rightness, the rightness of one's current behavior. And so, the need to go in a different direction. As an example, most of you know by now that one of my pet peeves is to say we're a Christian, to affirm we're a follower of Christ, and yet to treat, to treat Sunday worship casually. Believing this gathering for our spiritual our spiritual nourishment and sustenance at this service of word and supper is something we can take or leave. To continue with
with this example. Repentance is, is much more than saying, Lord, Lord, I'm so very sorry that I skipped Mass today. Repentance means embarking on a different path. Lord, I will be at worship on your day every week, except when I cannot because of infirmity or an unavoidable commitment or an emergency. Repentance, you see, is about a turnaround in direction, a change in our priorities, a reorientation to the light, to the love, to the life, to the God, the God we see in Jesus Christ. My cousin Missy came to visit this week. We enjoyed several wonderful days together. At one point, Missy shared with us that she had recently, recently left her church in Virginia that she attended faithfully. Knowing Missy and her abiding faith, I needed, I needed to know what it was that would prompt so drastic a decision. She shared that a married couple, both of them pastors, were doing an incredibly effective job as the staff youth ministers for that congregation. They had two children of their own, but feeling led by God's spirit, they decided to adopt a third child. A child needing a home needing a family, a child needing to be loved. A child that is black. That clergy couple were ousted from that church. Only, only because they welcomed a black child into their hearts, their home, and their love. And I, as I heard this, see, I shook my hand, my head in disbelief. I thought, Jesus is weeping. How could the story be true? even though my cousin was telling it. But it was true. And Missy then said to us, it's a very conservative church. And then she said, I learned it was a church I couldn't be part of. So I've left and am now looking for another. Of what, of what do we need to repent? What are we doing or failing to do that is making Jesus weep? Repentance is realizing that God is pointing, up, is pointing us one way, but that we've been traveling another way, and therefore seeing the necessity for us to change direction. Yes, repentance, repentance for followers of 
Christ is to be a way of life as the way to life. Repentance is not a once and done activity. Rather, these Sundays in Advent and their call to us to prepare ourselves for Christ's coming through repentance become, become a microcosm of all the Sundays in the church year. And indeed, all of our days, every day, occasions and opportunities for us to discern God's call, God's call to love, to take stock of where we have left God's path, to ask ourselves what there is about us that is not of God, and to repent of it, to turn away from it, to turn around and to walk toward the light, to walk toward the love, to walk toward the life that is God. That is God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, 